Hello guys, uh, welcome to Drills Point. This is a video about Android application development. Here we would be learning about how do we actually develop applications for Android. Before we jump into developing applications for Android, we actually need to know what Android actually is. So let's see, what is Android? If I ask you a simple question, what is Android? What would be your answer? Some would say it's mobile operating system, some say it's a UI, some say it is a middleware, some say it's an application. So what actually Android is from a developer perspective is different. Android is a combination of all these things put together. These here stands for an operating system, a middleware and some applications. Operating system, we are very well aware of what operating system actually is. Now, what is a middleware? Middleware are some set of libraries written together that helps or that make it easier for the developer to work on it. They are a glue between the kernel and the applications that enhance and ease the ease of work for a developer. So an Android is a combination of an operating system, the middleware and some key applications. Now what do we mean by key applications? <coughs> key applications are nothing but the applications that are inbuilt in our operating system. Like for example, phone, SMS, logs, camera, Gmail, things that are already available onto a pre-built operating system are known as key application. Then the next point is fully customizable Linux kernel. We have been hearing this term for quite some time now. Android is based on Linux. What do we mean by based on Linux? We actually define the Android OS based on a kernel which is a Linux kernel. This we would be uh, understanding deeply when we study the architecture of Android in the upcoming sessions. But to put it in a very short manner, the entire base of Android is a Linux kernel which is very stable and belongs to the open source community. Then the rich set of APIs. What do, what do API stands for? API stands for Application Programming Interface. Android extends its capability from the Java and the existing environments, making it easier for the developer to do the work. APIs that are already written can be easily used by the developer to develop his own work, giving him an edge over other mobile operating systems in which he has to begin from scratch. The next point is open sourceness. Now, what is open source? We have heard Android is open source. We have heard Linux is open source. But what does the word open source means? Open source is nothing but a software that is available free of cost, can be customized, is an, is an open source operating system or is, it, is an open source software. Then by Google and OHA, this you will be covering up in the upcoming slide, in which you will discover what is OHA and how it is contributing into making uh, Android and how it is working to make Android a better operating system. So what is open source first of all? Open source is nothing but a software that is released under an Apache license and is free and there's no royalty to be paid to use that particular software. This is the main power of Android because there is no fees, no royalty to be paid. Anyone can download it, modify it as per its own need. Let's say for example, if you are using a Samsung phone and an HTC phone, both the phones come from a same operating system but have a different UI. How is it possible? It's possible because Android is open source. You can download the code and can modify it as per your need. Now, the OHA. Actually, Android is a group of, Android is not related to Google or a specific person. It's a group of companies that are working together to make this operating system, to make this environment a bit more better, a bit more innovative day in and day out. How is it happening? It's happening because of some 80 plus companies that are coming together and forming an alliance to improve this. Now, what are these companies all? These companies are software companies like Google, eBay, then some handset manufacturers, Samsung, Xiaomi, LG, HTC, all these companies clubbed in with mobile operators, mobile operators like Airtel, Vodafone, then AT&T, Verizon, all these companies coming up together with some semiconductors. What do you mean by semiconductors? 
Do our phone use semiconductor? Yes, we, of we obviously use them a lot. Our processors, our memory chips, everything are based on a semiconductor. So for semiconductors, we can say companies like Intel and ARM are an example of semiconductor companies. Clubbed with the last but not the least, commercialization companies, companies that help this making an, this OS commercial and physically viable companies like uh, uh, advertising companies, such companies club together from the OHA where we actually build this operating system and improve it day in and day out. So I think with this, you are very well clear what is Android, how it, how it came up, what is open source. So this, this is the reason why we are using Android day in and day out. So to conclude, this is very clear. What is operating system? What is Android? Android is based on Linux kernel and so on henceforth. In the upcoming videos, we will be seeing how do we work on Android, how Android came up, what is the history of Android and so on. Thank you all.